All right, time now for another look at the forecast with meteorologist Robert Sir. So, Robert, the entire weekend isn't a wash, but there is that looming oh, yeah. chance of severe weather, right? Yeah, I mean, the start of the weekend will be fine. The end of the weekend, I think, will also be fine. But in the middle, it's going to get a little hairy, I think. Uh, it is a severe night, Saturday night and into Sunday which we'll talk about. Uh, let's uh, start off with one more check of the radar and you can see all the rainfall from earlier today has shifted well south of the area. We'll be dry the rest of the night, which is great news. Just some puffy clouds across northwest Arkansas. Temperatures rebounding nicely into the mid 70s, still upper 60s uh, in Garfield River Valley. About the same thing, just some high cirrus clouds left over from all that rainfall uh, earlier today. Uh, flirting with 80 in Hackett and Picola right now. It's uh, 78 in Paris as well as Lamar. It is warming up pretty much and it, it's warming up because we are in the warm sector of this strong low pressure that's going to be moving uh, north of our area but out ahead of it it's pulling up a lot of moisture and a lot of warm and humid air and that's going to set the stage for all that severe weather possibly by tomorrow night. Well, tonight, really nothing to worry about here. Just some high clouds left over. Tomorrow morning will be nice and quiet as well with clouds slowly on the increase. But as this boundary well to our north and west gets closer, especially after sunset, here come the showers and the thunderstorms with embedded severe storms are certainly possible. The biggest risk for the worst of the severe storms will be on wherever the leading edge of all that severe weather sets up. Uh, but notice here uh, overnight Saturday and into Sunday periods of heavy rain with embedded thunderstorms, embedded severe storms certainly possible as well. This could linger for a good part of your Sunday morning. It could be a rough ride to church. Keep that in mind, especially if we get this uh, this particular run of the model saying, yeah, there could be a bad squall line developing there. Uh, but for the most part, most of it should be through by the time we get to around the lunch hour on Sunday, while many of us are maybe settling down to enjoy some afternoon football. Uh, but we'll get through some rough weather first. Uh, the further north and west you go, the better the severe chances are. Widespread in that enhanced area, scattered severe storms in the slight and an isolated severe storm as you get toward the River Valley. Uh, all hazards are on the table. Damaging straight line winds look to be the main threat, but we can't rule out large hail, but the worst hail threat will stay as of right now, stay two hour west and can't even roll out the slight chance for a brief tornado. That would be very early with that initial line of storms. Lows tonight, not too bad. 60s for just about all of us. A very hot, very humid day uh, tomorrow. Above average temperatures into the 80s. However, if you're kicking off your Saturday and you're going to the 5K run at the LPGA, it should be a, a nice start to our Saturday. Maybe a little bit on the humid side, but a nice mix of clouds and sunshine. We don't have to worry about any storms tomorrow morning. It's the second half of the day. Also, can't forget that tomorrow is the first day of fall, which happens very early in the morning officially, like 1.48 a.m. or so. Uh, and then the uh, rest of the week looks great once we get through the storminess. Kicking off the LPGA event on Friday, no, nothing to worry about as of now. That's the first official round of golf that the players will be playing. And then River Valley, pretty much the same thing. Rain and storms. And then the rest of the week looks good. Temperatures right around where we should be for this time of the year. Uh, temperatures right in the mid 80s. Just got the four degree. It warmed up just quick enough here where uh, Moffitt, uh, we made it just by the skin of our teeth for the most part. Uh, that means Dale Lamb is going to get the Darby Bybee umbrella. He's in Gans, Oklahoma. Brandon, tomorrow we'll take you to Bentonville and forecast a warm and humid temperature of 88.